next variances now when we talk about the variances first thing we need to remember that always compare your actual performance with the flexed budget performance if budgeted activity is different from actual activity in case otherwise you can take a fixed budget now whenever we talk about the variances variances can be of two type favorable variance and adverse variance favorable variance of course it's a good variance and adverse variance is a bad variance now whenever we talk about any sort of variance whether favorable or adverse the variances can be of two type one is controllable and second is non controllable controllable and non -controllable, controllable we will explain it from the perspective of a manager who is responsible for those variances production manager will only be responsible for the variances that arise inside the production department finance manager will only be responsible for the variances that arise in finance how much expected cash we were supposed to use how much actual cash we use and so on so some of the variances will be under the control of a manager or a company but some variances whether small or big doesn't matter good or bad doesn't matter will always be out of the control of a manager for example if we talk if you are calculating the variances for the material usage now obviously if variance is arising due to some internal factor like labor is careless machinery is not working properly and that's why we are having some kind of wastage and because of wastage we are using extra material and because of that we are getting adverse variance in material usage yes it's possible to control it you can provide a better training to your employees you can have more supervision over the employees so they should not be careless or you can improve the technology of a machinery so somehow these variances are controllable but if we are talking about material price variance and prices in the world market have increased now if the prices in the world market has increased and we are importing all the raw material from the international market now this is something which is an external factor and which is out of the control of manager this is somehow not possible for a manager to control the prices in the international market or world market but one way to control is to switch to the supplier but as the prices have increased in the world market so all the suppliers around the world now will going to charge the more so you have no other option so such kind of variances will be uncontrolled or non controlled so the thing is we will going to calculate the variances both type favorable and adverse then we will further going to classify it under controllable and non controllable non controllable as we cannot do anything so we will not be worry about this but controllable one as these are controllable and managers are required to take corrective actions yes to control these variances so these variances should not repeat again in the future clear with this yes sir Oh. I'm just writing it down. Any question? Uh, uh, I, I'm done. Thank you. All right. Let's go ahead. Variances as a percentage. This is another way to report your information to the manager. Now, in this report, you can see, for example, laundry. Our budgeted cost was one thousand dollars. Actual is one thousand forty-five, and variance is forty-five A, forty-five adverse. And here the other information for nursing staff. There's a cost and there's a six hundred dollar favorable variance. This is perfectly fine if you want to report the variances with the numbers. But instead of numbers if we will going to report these variances based on percentage so this will be even better idea or this will be a better way of presenting your information now for example how we can calculate a percentage first take the variance and compare it with the budget so 45 is the variance 
divided by budgeted cost 1000 into 100. So 45 divided by 1000 into 100. So variance is 4.5% based on the budgeted cost. So obviously what we can say that our actual performance is 4.5% bad as compared to the budget. So $45 are not that much meaningful, but 4.5% is much more meaningful as compared to the uh, numbers. Then for the nursing staff, again, take the variance and divide it on the budget. So 600 divided by 7,000 into 200. So how much percent? 600 divided by 7,000 into 8. 8.6% almost. And here 8.6%. Now manager, just by seeing the percentage, he will get an idea that it's a favorable one. So our actual performance is 8.6% better as we expected. So this percentage will going to help manager to get the information quickly and in a more meaningful format, which will be easier to understand by the managers. So we can also report our variances as a percentage in our report so that it will provide more meaningful information. <clears throat> more meaningful information. And second, we can also use these percentages in exception reporting. At the end of the chapter, I will going to explain to you the exception reporting. Clear with this so far? Yes, sir. Okay. 